Bright gets Black Bright, the non-serious Black Bright, because she's talking about Love Island. So for my serious subscribers, you have to wait for my next video. But this one is about Love Island. So if you don't like Love Island, a lot of people don't think I'm crazy. That's fine. Um, but yes, I didn't get to um, do it last night. I had just too much to do. So I'm going to do a quick one this evening, hopefully. And that means I'm going to have to do... Um, the other one after tonight but I thought I'd get this one through I don't know if I'm going to do it every night though because I'm thinking to myself it's not every night there's going to be something significant but as I was re-watching um, it again I found quite a lot of points that I wanted to talk about so we've got the two guys that's the first thing that is the most important thing aren't they to die for well Connor with a G isn't he to die for my god and the funny thing is is that when he was talking to um sophie i thought she really liked him she really played it well and i can't read sophie because when she went back she's really into connor one and i'm wondering if she is the type that is attracted to someone who is needy who's vulnerable those could be the negatives but on the positive side with connor one is that he's sensitive he's honest he's open so it all depends how you look at him because the girls are saying he's immature and he's stressed out but some guys fall hard very quickly and he could be an aries aries a lot of aries they um they fall in love at first sight that's what they like they jump in head first and sometimes it ends just as quick as it starts but the fact of the matter is that is what they're like so we can't knock him for falling for her so quickly a little story of my own my mum and my dad my dad he met my mum in just she was she was he was in a house i think he used to come and play dominoes or something and she was there living there with a friend and he saw my mum on that first day and there was a man in the house and he wanted to see if that guy would leave and he said if the guy leaves it means my mum and him are not together anyway the man leaves and leaves my mum there and he goes over to my mum and says um I'm interested in you. She said, all he said is that I'm interested in you. Will you marry me? And she looked at him. And I forget her exact words. But she said, I have two children. If you're willing to take on my ch two children, I'll marry you. She just, they didn't know each other from Adam. Then, after she had said that to him, no, he said to her, well, I'll go and see about the blood tests and um, what we need to do, and I'll come back to you. After she says yes, she then goes and speaks to the friend who's, who knows him and said, Mr. Mr. X um, just proposed to me and said he won't marry me. What type of man is he? And the woman said, he's all right, man. He's all right. All him need is a little care. So she said, oh, that is good then. Six weeks later, they're married. And they're married until he died like two, two years ago. I think it's two or three years ago. 50 years of marriage met the first time just like that so we can't all i'm saying is that you can't underestimate feelings because people say oh they just met in the villa they don't know each other this and that this and that it doesn't matter not in the real scheme of things some people just know what they want and if they happen to choose the right person the same person is on the same wavelength sorry the same wavelength it can work Anyway, let's get back to Love Island. So the two guys, Connor. Gentlemen, did you see the way they pulled out the chair for the ladies? And then they push it in slightly. Did you see that? Touch of class. And on top of that, they were so unassuming. They weren't brash. There was nothing that would wrap you up the wrong way with those two. 
not arrogant, you know, that ask nice questions. Sometimes I wonder if they're prepped. But anyway, do you know, to create that kind of impression. But anyway, very, very nice. I mean, there's Connor, the one who you would think is arrogant because he's a model and he goes to the gym six foot tree, you know. Apparently somebody said he's an anti, anti, um, Anthony Joshua lookalike. Six foot tree, buff, mixed race he is. So, you know, very humble, asking her about her family, saying, you know, um, he wasn't sure whether or not they would accept him. And he hopes that he, she can be his number one. And then you have Finlay, he's a, ple he's a pint guy. He actually says, oh, well, you know, when she talked about the single bed, he says, oh, well, you, you won't be in it by yourself tonight. I thought that was a bit... You know, I'm like, Phew. I didn't like that response because the funny thing is, is that Shauna mentioned that Shauna, oh yeah, okay, Connor then had a date with Shauna. They were allowed to choose two women each. So Connor's second date was um, Shauna, who likes Callum, who has chosen one of the twins and who couldn't make up his mind whether or not he wanted Eve of the twins or whether or not he wanted Shauna. So... He now realises, now he now he's realised that someone else is taking her on a date. All of a sudden, he's made up his mind. He knows which one he wants. Isn't that typical? So, Shauna walks off and she says, Karma is a bitch. And she happens to really like Connor. But the funny thing is, she still likes Callum. But now, because Callum gave, it, gave her... Um, didn't acknowledge her or anything she's going to do the same thing to him she's going to make him suffer but I don't think that works in the villa because things turn around so quickly you don't know what's going to happen you haven't got time for revenge in the villa you haven't got time to be getting back at someone if you don't mean it if you like the guy tell the guy you like the guy and just you know he's suffered enough you know just take him back and get on with it but if you start playing these games in the villa it's bound to to backfire. Anyway, she's now gone off with Connor. They got on really well. I think those two would be good together. Then, of course, I have a challenge and they have this kissing challenge and Connor is allowed to choose two women to kiss and he kisses Shanice and he kisses um, Sophie, which is the one who's with the bunny boiler, the male bunny boiler, Connor with the teeth. So anyway, he, he now kisses, <laughs> he's kissing, he's kissing Sophie and Connor poor thing, he must have turned away. He says, I only saw half a second, what I don't see, I, I can't feel it, it didn't happen. <laughs> you can't even stand anybody touching her or going near her. Next thing you know, Connor one goes to speak to Connor two and asks him what his feelings is for his woman, in quotes. Connor, Connor too isn't too sure. He likes her, says she's attractive, blah, blah, blah. And he says he's not going to do nothing behind his back. So Connor, the thing with Connor is that he's very open. He says, I'm shitting it, you know, when she's not around. And he, even though she's reassured him because she's come back and told him now she's not interested in this fantastic model guy. She wants him. It's not enough. So he's going to be hard work. So after she says she wants him, but I guess he's living in the real world. Anyway, after she after she's convinced, told him she doesn't want the, the model, she wants him. He still goes up to Connor, the other, he still goes up to the, the model and starts asking him and needs reassurance from him too that he's not going to take his woman away. I feel sorry for Connor. I think he's in the wrong show. Connor one is definitely in the wrong show because if you think you can stay with one woman throughout the show and there not be any turmoil, you're, you're in for a rough ride, boy. Because I tell you something, if it's not Connor, it's going to be someone else, especially when he's so bloody possessive and he's all up in our grill, excuse the pun. You know, he does need too much reassurance and it can be sweet, but you have to be very careful. You have to be careful that you're not 
taking that person in for the wrong reasons. And that's why I'm a bit concerned about Sophie. I'm not quite sure what kind of background she's coming from, why she's attracted to Connor 1 as opposed to Connor 2, who seems more stable, more responsible, and all of that. And I think those two would get on really, really well. So what else have we got? We've got Shanice. Shanice, when the ma when um, Finlay, number one, she's 25, he's 20. So she knows that's a red flag in her books. Not in everybody's books, but in hers. But she's still, when he says to her, what are you looking for in a man? Oh, I just want somebody who's tall, who's got dark hair and is good looking. I'm like, what kind of man is that? Tall, dark hair. And then she, oh, you've got lovely eyebrows. What the hell has eyebrows got to do with anything? You're looking for a man, you're looking for affection, you're looking for reliability, you're looking for somebody who's responsible, but them tall, dark, and them have good eyebrow. What is that? I'm just like... Anyway, after after the um, them have this challenge, you know, where Connor, the tall, good-looking guy, kisses Shanice, all of a sudden now Shanice won't talk to Connor. Now Connor's her type. I'm just like... Oh, and he says to her the same question. What type of men do you go for? Oh, they've got to be tall and good looking. So he says, you know, am I in the running? Then? Oh, yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like, I just don't get it. Anyway, so what else did I write here to make sure I haven't forgot anything? Because I don't really want this to go on too long. Um, Callum. I think, did I mention Callum? Well, anyway, Callum is the one that liked Shauna. Well, Shauna liked Callum. Um, but when Eve chose Callum, he decides that he's not sure whether he wants Eve, who's the big busk, the big voluptuous twin, or whether he wants Shauna. And before Shauna went on, before Shauna, um, even before Shauna knew that about the date, she pulled Callum aside because he didn't speak to her and said, you know, have you more or less made up your mind? And he's going, oh, I'm not quite sure. You'll have to hang around and wait and see. So now, all of a sudden, now I'm finding out say she's been invited on a date. All of a sudden, he hopes that she's, um, she's, she's not going to be interested in anybody else. Who the hell does he think he is? Bye. Honestly, how does she, how does he expect you're in that little small villa, you're there with another woman and you think she's going to hang around waiting for you to see if it's going to work out with you and that woman and you've got a big hunk like Connor too coming into the villa? I don't think so, son. You better, you better get real. Honestly. Anyway, so now this bloody Callum after him, after he saying he's not sure about Eve and Shauna, he's telling the guys, oh, you know, I'm going to really have to work to get Shauna back. Right in front of Eve, one of the twins, the one he's supposed to be coupled up with. Eve's looking and thinking, bloody hell, I think those twins are out tonight, honestly. If there's a recoupling and the men get to choose, those two twins are out because nobody really likes them. Like I said, you know, I don't really want to go on the visuals, but they're very, very, very made up to be somebody so young. And their clothes are very, very revealing. And, you know, if they are looking for love, they are going to... It might appeal to some people, but from what I'm seeing, the guys ain't leaning towards those two. So I think they need to tone it down a little bit. Anyway, um, twins, yeah, I've said about that. Yeah, yeah, I've said about that, I've said about that. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to tonight and see who's choosing who. Oh, I want to see who that Connor goes for, that Connor too. Wouldn't it be something if he chooses? You know what I think is going to happen? I'm going to foresee. Might be wrong, but I reckon that Connor one is going to blow it with... Um, with Sophie because of his insecurity 
and running her down every minute and wanting reassurance and she can't have any fun. Anytime you're in a relationship and somebody dulls your spirit, you can't be yourself. You can't be your jokey self because they're either miserable or because they don't get you or whatever it is. It ain't going to last. And what Connor one is doing, he's dulling her spirit by jumping on her and taking everything so bloody seriously. She's going to get mad and say, F you. And prime for the picking. Because I really believe Connor too likes Sophie out of the three girls. Even I think Shanice, because she's he's not going to be stepping on anybody's toes, because both men have warned him against their women, even though they're not even technically their women. But Callum has told him to lay his hands off of Short Shona, and, and she'll be mad if she knows that. And so has Connor. So I think he's taking Shanice as the best bet. But he's not going to like Shanice. She's like a wet blanket. She looks all right, but nah. So I've got a funny feeling. I would like, I would like ideally for Shauna to go with Connor too, but only if it's sincere. If it's to get back at Callum, I don't want that to happen. So I really, what ideally I would like, I would like Connor one to mess it up, even though I think he's a sweetie, so she can, so Connor two and Sophie can get together. I think those two would hit it off. Well, again, you just never know. You might be a bit dry for her. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens. So, until the next episode, ciao.